In this video, we'll discuss how to prepare for a hurricane before it hits, what to do during, and what to do after. The first and most important thing to do is plan ahead. Here are some simple things you can start doing now. You can start by signing up for local text and email alerts warning when a storm is coming and monitor local news and weather reports so you're informed at all times. Next, learn the locations of local shelters where you can go if things get bad during a storm and your home is no longer safe. If you are ordered to evacuate, know the local hurricane evacuation routes to take and have a plan for where you will stay. Also, pick a place where you can meet in case you get separated from your family and have a phone number like a friend or family member everyone can call in the event you get separated. So here are some things you should pick up now. A NOAA enabled radio, three days worth of non-perishable food that doesn't require cooking, something like an MRE, one gallon of water per person per day, candles, flashlights, and batteries, a medical kit, seven day supply of medications, and also remember that as you store items for emergencies, don't forget to rotate them as they can go bad over time. Additional items that you should consider, a small water filter and a water bottle. It's also a good idea to have a go bag or a bug out bag so that in the event you have to head out your door quickly, you'll have all of the necessary supplies on hand. Also, it's a very good idea to have board games for your family and kids as after a hurricane when power's out, having a way to stay occupied will be very helpful. So how do you prepare your home? A good start is by getting flood insurance. Be sure to discuss with your agent what is covered in the event your home actually gets flooded. You want to consider taking a photo of everything in your house for insurance purposes and keep this information backed up in an off-site cloud location like Dropbox. Also have 5 8 marine plywood already cut and stored away for each window of your home unless of course you have hurricane shutters. Have a safe room designated and set up where you can go if you shelter in place during a hurricane. You might want to also consider installing check valves and sewer lines to prevent flood water from backing up into your drains. Stockpile emergency protective materials such as plywood, plastic, sheeting, and sandbags. Some additional considerations are if you have a family member with special needs, be sure to check with your local officials to see what services are available if the power goes down. You'll need to learn how to shut off electricity, gas, and water. And also keep important documents in a central location. Prior to a storm hitting, put your important documents like passports, car titles, or other important financial, medical, educational, and legal documents in Ziploc bags for vent water damage. Remember to practice good hygiene. Once a storm hits, you'll need to maintain this to ensure diseases and illnesses do not impact your family. Also consider comfort and priceless items. Prepare items that are irreplaceable or may provide comfort to your families, especially your children. Ask yourself, what would I need for myself and my family if a hurricane struck? So what to do if a hurricane is approaching within a few days? Bring in anything that could be easily tossed around by the wind in your yard. Close and board up all windows and doors with plywood. Clear rain gutters and downspouts. Be sure to clean trees and shrubs and remove limbs or branches that could be blown away. Put your refrigerator on the coldest setting. Fill up your freezer with water bottles and other devices to fill up your refrigerator with frozen items. Fill your car's gas tank and fill up any gas cans you have. Also keep snacks, bottled water, first aid kit, flashlights, flares, jumper cables, and other tools, a wool blanket, and a change of clothes in your vehicle in the event you have to move quickly. Also, if you have pets, be sure to have food on hand for them if you have to evacuate. If you live in a high rise on floors one or two, make plans to seek refuge with neighbors that are on higher floors. Those living on the 10th floor or above should plan on evacuating. Anyone living in a mobile home should also consider alternative shelter. For those living on a floodplain near a river or near an inland riverway should plan on leaving their home before the storm hits as they are a prime candidate for being flooded. You stand a high chance of being stranded or worse, so what should you do shortly before a hurricane hits? Fill your bathtub with water. Items like a water bob can come in handy in these situations. Turn off and unplug any sensitive electronic devices and consider switching the main power breakers off before the storm hits. Turn off propane tanks and the gas lines are running into your home and monitor your NOAA radio and follow guidelines from local authorities. If you're advised to evacuate, grab your go bag and leave immediately. If you decide to stay, remember the roads leading to your home may be impassable, so you may lose power and you may be stranded for a few days. What to do during the storm? Stay away from windows and glass doors. Go to your home's lowest level and stay in an interior room, safe room, or closet. 
Monitor your NOAA radio during this time. Have a mattress or pillow to protect your head. Don't leave your safe place until local officials tell you it's okay to do so. And if there's flooding, move to higher ground. Under no circumstances, drive your vehicle or walk through flooded roads or through moving water. Moving water, while it may not look deep, can quickly sweep your vehicle away. Remember the phrase, turn around, don't drown. So what should you do after the storm? If you lose electricity, keep your circuit breakers off until power is restored. Check for any frayed wires on your house before turning the power back on. If you see any, call the power company. If you return to your house, do not enter your house if flood water still remain around the structure. If you see downed power lines, structural damage, or smell gas, do not enter your home until you contact a professional or structural engineer. Each year, a significant number of people are injured or killed while cleaning up after a hurricane. Also, do not wade in floodwaters, which can contain dangerous debris like broken glass, metal, dead animals, sewage, gas, oil, and downed power lines. Wear appropriate protective equipment such as gloves, safety glasses, rubber boots, and masks to protect you from debris and airborne particles like mold or dust. Do not use electrical equipment if it is wet or if you are standing in water. So regarding drinking tap water, be sure not to do this unless the local authorities say it's safe to drink. Have a simple water filter on hand to filter your water and boil it if you're not sure. Throw out any food including canned items that were not maintained at a proper temperature or have been exposed to floodwaters. Do not eat food from a flooded garden. When in doubt, throw it out. Also be sure to clean and disinfect everything that got wet. Mud water from flood water can contain sewage, bacteria, and chemicals. The Atlantic hurricane season runs from June 1st to November 30th, with the peak occurring between mid-August and late October. The Eastern Pacific hurricane season begins May 15th and ends November 30th. If you prepare in advance while enduring a hurricane will be difficult, you won't get caught off guard when the hurricane season approaches. Thanks again to EcoZoom for providing the sponsorship to create this video. EcoZoom has a line of rocket stoves among many other products that are very useful after an emergency for cooking and boiling water. If you'd like to know more about their products, I'll put a link in the description section below. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button, share on social media, and as always, please provide feedback in the comments section below as I learned so much from the YouTube community. As always, be safe out there.